Hello, everybody. Size may be king in the natural world, but sometimes the real power lies beneath the surface. After all, some of the tiniest insects are hardwired to floor a six-ton elephant. This latent symbiotic power comes to the fore in the same way with Metropolis Arc IV Elite Orchestral Forces, which integrates various approaches from the previous three collections. Metropolis Arc IV is a collection of compact and focused orchestral sections with chamber-sized string sections, very unique blends of woodwind and brass instruments, two powerful choir sections, and some tight percussion ensembles. The sound they produce is by no means small and downscaled. Just like the oppressive calm before a returning storm, the sound is always powerful and aggressive. The dynamic range goes from pianissimo to fortissimo, but the underlying force and bite is always there. Every whisper is a controlled scream. Metropolis Arc 4 is not for the faint-hearted. This time around, we have special high-energy articulations, power legato, martella sets, overblown winds, overpressure strings, designed to harness the raw power behind the professional sheen. same very flexible and powerful setup used in the former collections of the series. It sounds big and exciting on its own, but will also blend effortlessly with its predecessors, providing an unparalleled frontal layer to their bigger sections. Let's start by listening to some of the multis that are provided with this collection. They're designed to give you a head start into Metropolis Arc 4 and provide you with some ready-to-use combinations. <laughs> Metropolis Arc 4 can sound very gritty and aggressive with a lot of detail and roughness to it, but at the same time it sounds as huge and epic as you want due to the Teldex scoring stage and orchestral tools microphone setup. Besides the standard sets of tree, AB, and surround microphones, we offer specific spot and close group microphone positions suitable for the particular instruments. Now let's take a listen to the different perspectives in this collection on their own and in some combinations.
Let's get into the details and start with the string sections. The high strings consist of three violins. First, we get a legato patch with a very tight bow change legato playing style. To get as much energy as possible, even on the lower dynamics, we ask them to play very fast with a lot of bow changes, also within the sustaining notes. To have an even more emphasized playing style, Orchestral Tools introduces Power Legato to Metropolis Arc 4. The transitions in that patch are played more roughly and edgy, resulting in different sounds depending on the instrument and playing position. On the strings, you might hear a slight portamento here and there, and maybe some other kinds of noises. The sustains in that patch are performed even more expressive and aggressive than even the loudest layer of the standard legato articulation. <laughs> Metropolis Arc 4 offers a lot of those exaggerated and more extreme articulations. For example, we have sustains, marcato, and staccato with a martella bowing, where the players strike their instruments as if bows were hammers. Even more extreme are the overpressure staccato and marcato styles. Here, the players deliberately play with too much pressure of the bow on the attack of a note, which eliminates the pitch and results in a rather unpleasant but very effective sound. Of course, we have a more standard staccatissimo, which in that section size becomes a very tight rhythmic device. We also included the blurred staccato, which orchestral tools introduced with Berlin strings many years ago. It's not only useful for some out-of-tune effects, but also to make very fast passages more realistic by introducing its pitch imperfections. This is especially good for layering with the more sober articulations. Another important set of articulations in this collection are the dynamics. We have all kinds of short crescendos and diminuendo styles, which are perfect for accents or stingers and other kinds of transitions. <laughs> But that's not all. We went further down the road and recorded some upbeat styles, which you might recognize from Metropolis Arc 3, together with ricochet and octave rips, again, to provide even more tools for accents and rhythmic structures.
Calegno and Bartok pizzicato articulation blends between those two playing styles depending on the dynamic you play. Last but not least, we have a short trills patch. That one is performed like the other trills orchestrator patches you might be familiar with in other orchestral tools collections. Press a certain interval between minor second and major fifth, and you get the matching trill. We recorded that articulation for a lot of sections, so you can build quite fascinating rhythmic and harmonic textures with them. Let's move on to the mid strings. Here we have three violas. The concepts are the same as with the high strings, so let's jump right in and listen to their stuff. The low strings consist of two cellos and a double bass playing in octaves. This section can provide a very strong rhythmic and harmonic foundation to the whole orchestra on its own. With all those string sections, you could really hear the focus and impact they provide. They work wonderfully on their own in many different contexts. But if you want to go big, they're still useful. Combined with bigger string sections, they can become a strong frontal layer which can add a lot of definition and detail. Let's listen to the Metropolis Arc 4 string orchestra in front of the Metropolis Arc 3 string orchestra. <laughs> and woodwind instruments of Metropolis Arc 4 are designed with a unique concept. 
Orchestral Tools does offer various blends of instruments, both woodwinds and brass, only and mixed. The combinations are chose to blend into very specific colors. They should not be treated as sections or groups of instruments, but as a new, true, virtual, or mixed instrument on their own. A good example here is the flute, English horn, and muted trumpet blend. When you play that one, you can't really pick out the sound of the English horn, but it is there, providing the important body of the sound, while the trumpet, with its straight mute, adds rich overtones, and the flute, playing one octave above, softens the sound and adds its own shimmer to it. Another example on the other end of the spectrum is the contrabassoon, euphonium, and tuba blend. Here, we have the low B-flat tuba providing the foundation. The contrabassoon adds a bit of edge and grit, while also tightens the low-end frequencies. And finally, the euphonium, played one octave higher, offers some warm and fat overtones to the whole thing. players of those blended sections perform together in a way to strengthen the intention of their particular part within the mix, so you really get a truly unique new color, which is quite different compared to a simple layering of solo instruments. The Metropolis Arc series is well known not only for its striking orchestral sounds. Especially the choirs included in the first two collections seem to have won many users' hearts. In Metropolis Arc 4, we wanted to raise that bar again. Orchestral Tools recorded three opera baritones and three opera sopranos to bring you a choir sound you would not expect from that small amount of singers. All collections of the series also feature exciting percussion instruments. In Metropolis Arc 4, we get some very unique combinations. Right now, I want to point out two of them, a melodic ensemble of piano, marimba, and xylophone featuring some of the articulations from the orchestral instruments. <laughs> tuned ensemble of timpani and toms, which you can play chromatically.